Welcome to Preparing for the Certified OpenStack Administrator Exam by Matt Dorn, a course by Pact Publishing. I am Alistair Ruane and I will be the presenter of this course. In this course, you will mainly learn important and relevant concepts of OpenStack and practical implementation of the objectives to the Certified OpenStack Administrator. Matt Dorn is a senior technical instructor and systems engineer who has helped hundreds of teams around the world build clouds with open source projects such as OpenStack and Kubernetes. Matt is the author of the recently released book, Preparing for the Certified OpenStack Administrator Exam, and enjoys creating easy to understand learning paths. Matt's previous experience includes working at Rackspace, where he trained and mentored OpenStack developers and system administrators. He has also previously served in the IT leadership positions for Dell Cloud Services and joined a four-person Microsoft-centric hosting startup in Philadelphia. Matt blogs about cloud-related topics at madorn.com. Let's look at the overview of the course. The first section is an introduction and setup of OpenStack Administrator Exam Guide, and it covers introduction to OpenStack and instructions on setting up the virtual appliance. After that, the section Keystone Identity Service covers concepts of Keystone and all Keystone-related exam objectives, including creating and modifying domains, groups, projects, users, roles, services, endpoints, and quotas. The next section covers defining cloud images and glance exam objectives, including uploading and downloading cloud images, sharing images with specific projects, and utilizing metadata definitions. Moving further, we will discuss Nova Compute and cover exam objectives, including launching Nova instances, getting console access to booted instances, defining flavors, managing key pairs, and creating instance snapshots. Post that, the section Neutron Networking Service provides an overview of Neutron and covers exam objectives including managing tenant and provider networks, subnets, security groups, routers, and floating IPs. The next section, Cinder Block Storage Service, explains Cinder Persistent Block Storage and exam objectives including creating volumes, attaching and detaching volumes, volume snapshots, and creating volume types. Proceeding with Swift Object Storage Service, it discusses the birth of AWS S3, Swift Object Storage, and exam objectives, including setting access control lists, ACLs on containers, and setting objectives to expire at specific times. After that, the next section, Heat Orchestration Service, explains OpenStack Heat and exam objectives, including creating and updating stacks. The final section shows you how to perform debugging on the OpenStack CLI, manage OpenStack daemons, and analyze OpenStack log files. Along with that, it also gives you some useful tips and tricks to keep in mind before taking the COA exam. This video course is clear, concise, and straightforward, with supporting diagrams and lab environment tutorials. It will help you confidently pass certified OpenStack administrator objectives on the Horizon dashboard and command line interface. So let's begin this journey together, and I hope to see you there.